Welcome to Shield Healthcare. For 50 years now, we have made it our business to provide customers with quality medical supplies for care at home, along with excellent service. Shield Healthcare is the market leader when it comes to providing products and programs and clinical services for incontinence and urological and ostomy and enteral nutrition. Frankly, here at Shield Healthcare, we measure our degree of excellence by one number alone. And that's the number of satisfied customers that we serve each and every day. In order to provide you with the best customer experience possible, Shield Healthcare has proudly prepared the following instructional video just for you. We believe that this educational video will provide you with greater information about our products and our services. So thanks for taking the time today. Come on, Kobe, you ready to race? Hey, Kobe. Kobe doesn't absorb food properly. Uh, his intestines don't work properly. So without um, the G-tube feedings, then he doesn't gain weight. We tried to get him in baseball and soccer, and uh, they wouldn't let him play because of the liability. So we uh, wanted him to be able to do something with other kids. And we uh, researched and found the quarter midgets. Active freedom. This is what the Enterolite Infinity means to Kobe and his family. For Kobe and other people like him, being able to carry on with daily activities while getting enteral feedings is not a luxury, it is essential. All those things that one of us had to be home for the IV pole and one of us could run the errands, now we do together. Give me a list of all the things you can do with your pump. Look at us, climbing down the slide, walking, and uh, We know from a report by the Surgeon General that physical activity during play or work improves stamina and strength in people with chronic illness and contributes to a healthier state of mind by reducing anxiety and depression. Yeah, we don't have to fight Kobe to hook him up to an IV pole. <laughs> His muscles have gotten stronger. His attitude is better. He's happier. Now it's, he's much better being hooked up, he could do a lot more, so. Because he's not trying to get away from it, it's staying with him. This physical activity, this active freedom when using the Enterolite Infinity, can also help improve Kobe's developmental level and ability to learn. Being able to participate in school, social activities, or work outside the home allows those on enteral feedings to be productive members of their community. The portability, versatility, accuracy, and ease of the Enterolite Infinity can benefit caregivers as well by reducing the stress that can occur when caring for someone on enteral feedings. With the Enterolite Infinity, you actually have a life. You can go grocery shopping and to your friend's house and amusement parks and travel, and I think it means his life. Parents and other caregivers can carry on with their day with fewer travel restrictions, less time constraint, and less worry. In so many ways, the Enterolite Infinity offers families and caregivers their own active freedom. This is the Enterolite Infinity, the only enteral feeding pump that is uniquely designed with breakthrough technology to allow you to go where you want, when you want to do what you want safely and with ease. Active freedom. The Infinity is small, versatile, and can be moved in any direction or placed in any position, whether in a carry pack, on a wheelchair, in the backseat of a car, or attached to a pole or bed rail. The Infinity will continue to run accurately and safely. The Infinity's display offers high visibility messages. The keypad is simplified with easy to push keys and an easy to clean surface. The innovative Infinity Cassette eliminates the need for the drip chamber used in other pump systems and allows the Enterolite Infinity to work in any position. Inside the teal-colored tubing of the cassette is the inline occluder, the specialized valve that controls the flow, prevents free flow from occurring, and eliminates the need for roller clamps. The pump wheel, cassette, and sensors within the cassette receptacle 
work together to make the Enterolite Infinity a truly ambulatory enteral feeding pump with versatility that allows use for any enteral pump need. The Enterolite Infinity will function safely and reliably in any position using one of the three types of disposable sets approved for use with the Enterolite Infinity pump. The small 500 milliliter bag, the large 1200 milliliter bag, and the spike if you are using a vented bottle or pre-filled bag of formula. It is recommended that the disposable set is changed every 24 hours for proper pump functioning and to prevent the growth of bacteria. You can uh, prime it all the way through and, and get the air out of the bag and the, the line and that way Kobe can jump and uh, roll over and um, you know do everything. The first step is to prime the disposable set to remove all the air from the system. After filling the bag, remove the protective adapter cover and then being sure that the cap is on tight, turn the bag upside down, hold it by the lower half, and squeeze gently so all the air rises to where the tubing is attached. On the longer end of the teal-colored tubing in the cassette, you will see the symbol of a drop of fluid. Gently pinch the tubing just below the symbol while lightly squeezing the bag to help with the flow. When you pinch the tubing, you'll feel the occluder inside. A gentle pinch moves the tubing away from the occluder, allowing the fluid to flow. It is very important that you pinch gently and just below the symbol of the drop of fluid to avoid damaging the tip of the occluder. When all the air is out of the tube, you can release your pinch. Pinching with different amounts of strength will create a faster or slower flow, but pinching too tightly may actually block the flow. Remember that the adapter cover must also be removed to allow the air out of the tubing. Place the loop of teal tubing over the pump wheel and stretch it slightly to fit the cassette into the receptacle. Now close the pump door. Press and hold the on-off key. You'll hear an alarm indicating that the system is testing itself. When the pump's self-test is completed, the display will show the rate that was programmed last. You may want to use the pump's prime feature if you are using a thick formula. Press and hold the prime key. The alarm will sound and the pump will activate at the maximum rate of 600 milliliters per hour. The display will read, to stop, let go. When the air is out of the tube, release the prime key. The pump will return to pause mode, and the display will again show the last programmed rate. The Interalight Infinity can be set in either of two feeding modes, single or interval feeding. To program a single feeding, press the plus or minus key to change the rate to the desired number. Hold either key down to change the numbers rapidly. Next, Press the Rate Dose key to change the display to show the dose. Press the plus or minus key until you reach the desired dose. You can also program a continuous or infinite dose by pressing the plus key until INF appears in the display. When INF is selected as a dose, the pump will operate at the programmed rate until all fluid in the bag is delivered and the pump will alarm. If you need to start over when setting either the rate or dose, simply push the Clear key. Plug it into the feeding tube. To start the feeding, connect the adapter to the feeding tube and press the Run Pause key. And now he's ready to go. When the pump begins running, the display will show the rate and the arcs will rotate around the run symbol. You can press the Rate Dose and Feed Interval keys to check the settings while the pump is running. You can check the amount delivered in the current feeding by pressing the Volume Total key. This counter will reset itself each time a feeding is completed and a new one is started, or if a feeding is stopped and the settings are changed. Pressing the volume total a second time shows the amount delivered over the course of several feedings. The display will show the abbreviation, TOTL, then the amount. This counter never resets itself. It can only be reset by the user. While the pump is running, the settings cannot be changed and the prime feature is disabled. If you need to stop the pump during a feeding, you can press the Run Pause key. The rate will appear on the display and the pump will be in pause mode. You may press the On-Off key to turn the pump off. To restart the pump, press the On-Off key or the Run Pause key. When you restart the pump, it will return to the point in the feeding where it left off. However, if you change the settings in the middle of the feeding, the pump will interpret this as a new feeding and not start where it left off. 
The interalight infinity will stop running when the dose is completely delivered and dose done will appear on the display. At this point, the pump automatically goes to the pause mode. To start the next feeding from the pause mode, push run pause. If the pump has been turned off, push the on off key, then the run pause key to restart it. The pump will remember the previous rate, dose, and feed interval settings. It is very important to check the settings before starting the next feeding by pushing the rate dose key. If repeated feedings over a period of time are required, adjust the infinity for interval feedings. For example, you may want to deliver 100 milliliters of formula at a rate of 50 milliliters per hour and repeat this feeding every six hours. The first step in calculating how to program an interval feeding is to divide the dose by the rate to determine how long it will take to deliver the first feeding. In this example, 100 milliliters divided by 50 milliliters per hour equals two hours. The number of hours to be set as the feed interval needs to be the amount of time to deliver the feeding plus the amount of time the pump should pause between the feedings. This means two hours for the feeding delivery plus a pause of four hours equals a feeding interval of six hours. When you enter the dose and the rate, the pump will calculate how long it will take to deliver the feeding. This is to prevent too little time from being programmed. In this example, two hours will be the shortest amount of time you can set as the interval feeding. Press and hold the on-off key to turn the infinity on. After it runs the self-test, the display will show the last programmed rate. Press the plus or minus key to change the rate to 50 milliliters per hour. Press the rate dose key to display the dose. Press the plus or minus key until the dose of 100 milliliters is displayed. Press the feed interval key to display the feed interval setting. Press the plus or minus key until six hours is displayed. Press the run pause key to start the pump. The display will show the set rate, the arcs around the run symbol will rotate, and the display will show feed interval. For a reminder of how to prime, set, and run the interalight infinity, the label on the back of the pump has simplified instructions, as well as a list of the alarms and their solutions. When the feeding has been completely delivered, the pump will stop, and the display will show the words, next dose, followed by the number of hours and minutes until the next feeding. The run symbol will flash without the arcs rotating around it. Once the countdown is complete, the pump will automatically start the next feeding cycle. The interalight infinity will run for 24 hours at a rate of 125 milliliters per hour. The battery will run down faster at higher flow rates. Slower flow rates and interval feedings will allow the battery to last longer. When running the pump on battery power, the battery symbol will appear in the display. Each bar in the fuel gauge represents about six hours of charge and will begin to flash when it is half spent to let you know that about three hours of charge is left for that bar. When all the bars are gone, the battery symbol will blink and there will be about one hour of charge left. To remind you of the low battery condition, the pump will beep every two seconds and the abbreviation low bat will flash in the display. The pump will turn off automatically when the battery is completely depleted. Charging the battery is easy. Plug the AC adapter charger into the port on the left side of the pump and plug the charger into the wall. The plug symbol will appear on the display when the pump is plugged in, and the bars in the fuel gauge will scroll from E to F, showing that the battery is being charged. You can charge the battery whether the pump is running or turned off, and you can see how much the battery is charged by unplugging the charger and turning on the pump. Versatility is a key feature of the Interalight Infinity. Besides being placed in its carry pack, the Infinity can be easily mounted directly on a pole or a wheelchair. Thread the bolt into the receptacle on the back of the pump and tighten the gray wheel to secure the pump to the clamp. Tighten the black wheel of the pole clamp to mount it to a pole. To rotate the pump into different positions, simply loosen the gray wheel, then re-tighten it when the pump is in the desired position. You'll find the unique adapter cover holder on the back of the clamp very helpful as well. There are four user preference settings on the Interalight Infinity. To adjust the user preference settings, press and hold the on-off and plus keys at the same time for one and a half seconds. The pump will beep and then display the words beep high or beep low. To change the volume of the alarm,
press the plus or minus key to the desired setting. The other user preference settings are accessed by pressing the prime key. Press the prime key once to access the settings lock feature. The display will show an abbreviation for unlocked or for locked. Press the plus key to change to locked or the minus key to change to unlocked. When locked, the rate, dose, and feed interval settings cannot be changed. Press the prime key again to adjust the dose done alarm. Press the plus key to change to beep when done or the minus key to change to mute when done. Press the prime key again to adjust the backlight feature. Press the plus key to change to light on or the minus key to change to light off. When light on is selected, the backlight will remain on when the pump is running on AC power. The new settings will be saved automatically when the pump is turned off. It is very important to become familiar with the various alarms and messages of the Interalight Infinity and to know how to solve them. The pump displays ERR followed by a letter to indicate that a self-test has failed. To clear the alarm, turn the pump off and then back on. If the cassette is improperly loaded or is not in the receptacle, a repeating alarm will sound and the words load set will appear in the display. To correct the problem, First press the Run Pause key to silence the alarm. Then check to see that the cassette is loaded into the pump properly and the door is closed. Also, the pump may require cleaning, especially around the pressure sensors. If the pump detects a blockage between the bag and the pump, the display will read No Flow In and an alarm will sound. The pump may also detect a blockage between the pump and the user. In this case, the display will read No Flow Out to correct either of these problems, first press the Run Pause key to silence the alarm. Then check the tubing for kinks or clumps of formula. Also, check the receptacle for cleanliness, especially around the pressure sensors. When the pump detects air in the tubing, the words No Food will appear in the display and an alarm will sound. To correct this problem, first press the Run Pause key to silence the alarm. Check the feeding bag for food. If it is empty, refill and reprime the set. Check the tubing for air bubbles. If the bag is full but air is in the tubing, first detach the adapter from the user's enteral feeding tube. Then press and hold the prime key until the air bubbles have moved past the pump and to the end of the tubing. Check the cassette receptacle for cleanliness, especially around the air sensor. Check that you are using only an Interalight Infinity disposable set, that it is loaded into the pump properly, and that the door is closed. Check the disposable set for worn tubing. If it is worn, replace it with a new set. Good job. If you are using okay. blenderized or foamy formula, let it sit okay, for 10 good. to 15 minutes before pouring it into the bag. This will allow time for air bubbles to dissipate and reduce the chance of an alarm. When the pump has been in pause mode for two minutes, the words push run to feed will appear on the display and an alarm will sound. This feature alerts you that the pump is on but not being used. Press the Run Pause key to silence the alarm, and either program and use the pump, or press the On-Off key to turn the pump off. The Interalight Infinity is really easy to clean, even fun to clean, if you're six years old. To clean the pump, first unplug the adapter from the pump and the wall to avoid receiving an electrical shock. The pump can be cleaned with warm, soapy water and a non-abrasive sponge or cloth. Also, a 5% bleach and water solution or a multi-purpose disinfectant cleaner may be applied for about 10 minutes. Rinse the pump by moving it under a stream of warm water. Then dry it with a clean cloth. Only adults should use the bleach or disinfectant to clean the pump. Finally, use a cotton swab to gently clean the pathways of the cassette receptacle. And the Interalight Infinity is ready for its next use. The Entral Light Infinity Entral Feeding Pump means so many things to so many people. But one important thing these individuals all have in common is their desire, their need for the one thing the Infinity is uniquely designed to give them, active freedom.